Hey guys, John Locks here, back with our blind playthrough of The Vagrant. So last time we got to Maximilian II, the Esgoni King, and tried to fight him a few times, and we lost. So now, hopefully, we're gonna fight him again and win. Win. Um, there go the kitties. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, let's um add some defense. Should I? Well, twelve hundred, three hundred. I mean, I could, I could go and get the uh, just grind a little bit, but nah. I feel like we could do this. <laughs> All right, well, that's fair. The, the getting whacked. Uh, right, okay. Ah, uh, well. See, what is the... What is that... What is that halfway point? Am I... No, I'm not dead. Ouch. Dude. Dude. Those skeletons hurt so bad. They hurt so bad. Yeah. Yeah, we're dealing a fail, fail amount of damage. <laughs> a fair amount of damage. Weird. Why did they not... Yeah, well... Weird, I didn't even notice that uh, second one underneath me, or... Right, forgot about that. Ouch. Wow, okay. Yeah, those things, uh, it looks like they can walk through the different, uh... Through those bone pillars, I suppose, they can walk through them. I assume the bone pillars are considered a shielded enemy. Right, so enemies can walk through it, but we cannot. <laughs> Oh man, even that dodge. On the kitty. Kitty litter robots at it again. Okay, well. Da damn, dude. Oh, 
I will gladly take all the... Taking too much hits. Too many hits. That was not fast enough. Okay, well... a shielded enemy getting hit by all the others. The red skeletons throw their little things that that I'm a little irritated actually at that one. I'm also irritated that freaking litter robot's going because the kitty's pooped or whatever, but it's fine. It's just breathe. Just remember to breathe. <laughs> Come on, dude. Okay. Thanks, dude. Did that do? I I hate that because it's like there's there's too much going on. I can't see what's I I can't see all of what's going on. It's irritating. Like that at the end, or where I was like, I, I don't even know what hit me or what killed me. I know when I got hit by the, the spike coming out of the ground. That, uh... See that, those are bad. Dude! 
How much damage did that do? sure what hit me. I mean, that, I understand, was the... Okay. Wow, and then he's doing his little thing, and I just get greased. I know, I'm not using I'm not using health potions. I I should, I need to. And honestly those things are a little bit annoying. Ah crap. That still hit me? Well, that was... That was bad. That did a lot of damage. Um... What hit me there? I assume that was the mace coming down, but that means... What's the hitbox? You know, you have to dodge when the animation begins? That's a little silly if that's the case. Dick. Well, I should kill these dudes. Skeleton.
That was weird, but okay. All right. Good. Great. Wow, dude. I... Mm. I'm liking this boss less, to be honest. Uh, but... Yeah, whatever. Like those little dickheads need to stay down on like towards me where I can actually hit them. And yeah, it It hits you as soon as it starts moving. I don't think it actually needs to hit you. Well, this is fun. Great. Wow, how did I dodge that? Never mind. Because, yeah, see, he swings, and as soon as he starts moving, I get hit. I'm not super happy about that. It's... Maybe that's how uh, Vanillaware games do it. I mean, maybe, but... Wonderful. Come on, just keep doing the freaking combos, please. Okay, that's... irritating. Wait, what? What hit me there? Oh, Jesus. Try to dodge. Okay, where? Come on, dude. Wonder I'm not dead. How am I not dead? Holy cow. What hit me there? Great. 
great. I get stun locked and killed by that dude. I don't know if I was. I assume I was taking damage from both, both from the skeleton and the wave of skeletons. That's all right, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's like it requires kind of split second reactions. Holy crap, how much damage does it actually do? And he hit me from behind when he was swinging. So hitboxes are not a thing. I mean, they are a thing, but it's, uh... It's not the blade that attacks, it's the whole body. Or, or something, I don't know. Well, alright. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take the... Damn! Look at how much damage that thing does! Did I die because I got hit by the big dude's club, or did I die because I charged into the skeleton's attacks while he was doing his little swing dance? Yeah, right. <laughs> It's almost like dodging is not the best thing for those knives, swords, whatever. Right. Right. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. That's my fault. Okay. Wow. Really hope I beat this dude soon. Like, it's not necessarily his fault. It's mostly mine because I'm forgetting the patterns. I'm getting too focused on, I'm like, all right, you know. Oh, come on. I was trying to jump. And... I'm not 
quite sure what hit me there. Or, I mean, I understand I got killed by the by the skeleton wave, but I think I got knocked down first by the skeleton knight dude. I guess he's not a knight. I don't know the. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm on. Oh, good. Yeah, the bones can hurt you. Yeah, we'll use a... That's my fault. Oh crap! We'll use a healing potion again. Okay, we're not gonna have a chance to use another one. Oh my god! He's just gonna keep doing that, isn't he? Um, what's the... Uh, wow, yeah, my eyes hurt. I must not be blinking. What is the, um... How does he, uh... How does he telegraph that attack? Both hands in the air? Wow, my eyeballs. Yeesh. Let's try this again. Because I know the staff is when he summons the, um... Or the scepter, I guess. Is when he summons the, the, the swords. Probably that. Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, 
Cool. Wow, dude, stop shooting. Hmm. Yes, but he doesn't. So is he going to do it? Yes. Is he going to do it again? Hard to say. No. Alright, well. Oh yeah, I'm going to use another thing. There we go. Achievement unlocks Maximilian II. Vivian, he consumed the souls and powers of his people. It must be true that a king has no power without his followers. What the hell have I gotten myself into? I have to take charge. Holborn doesn't deserve to have power over my life. There must be something I can do with this curse. Okay, so now we're learning about Vivian a little bit. And she's showing some character development. Not just, hey, I'm a sellsword. Focus, Vivian. See through the rune stream. I... What? I'm okay with this, but it's like... Alright, anyway. R, damn, the seal was carved directly into my heart. This is very, like... It's like try-hard, I guess. It's like, it's like if you read someone's stuff when they're, or you listen to someone speak when they're trying to sound smart, they use a lot of big words, right? Uh, that don't, especially don't always mean what they think they mean. That's kind of how this comes across. It's like, they're trying to sound mysterious. Don't be mysterious. Just tell me what the hell is going on. You know, and if if Vivian is trying to do some sort of um, like what curse? The seal is carved directly into my heart. What what happened? What seal? What? Like what is? How did you get the curse? Like what is a rune warden? I still don't know what a rune warden is. 
The tall tree witch doesn't seem to get along with Holborn. Hell, she seems to hate her very existence. Perhaps that hatred can help me. But I'm not sure I can trust her either. Damn, how do I get out of this? Suck it up, Vivian. The only direction is to move is forward. This should have been split up. We should have known about some of this earlier. Like, Vivian actually is showing a character now. So that's good, I guess. Straying Knight. Do, uh, do we get any of those other things? No, we just lose them because there was a cutscene. Got it. Wait, we can go... Well, let's save. Let's check out this Straying Knight. Okay, first sword given to a recently knighted warrior. Really good attack. Very good, but it's not, um, doesn't have an elemental thing, and I, I really do like the elemental stuff. So let's save, because that was, you know, what about him now? So the ghosts are still trapped here, I guess. All right, we have 1,800 mana. And... Where does this go? All the way back up there? Okay. Yeah, and I assumed that would do, like, turn us to stone or something. Because it was just a bigger version of that other beaker. Rage potion. Cool. What is this thing in the background? Tiny rats. And some food, at least. Alright. And the rats don't seem to attack the crystal, huh? So, this is what, the king's evil workshop or something? Like, where were all the rats coming from anyway? They were just all bunched up over here. Also, still no uh, rift thing. And I wasn't even impressed with that rift that we opened earlier. Got another sword of some kind. Alright. So we beat... Beat that dude. Uh, yeah, we're going to the left. I mean, I'll take the, you know, encounter. All right, here we go again. You're back. How was it? I got the crown. Let's rest a bit, then be on our way. Are you hurt? I can perform a healing spell. No, I'm fine, and I'm not sure I'd trust your healing spell. What's that supposed to mean? You're Holborn's apprentice. I'm not sure I should trust my wounds to either of you. Fine, don't take my healing. I hope you enjoy your pain. To be honest, I really don't. This was not an easy task. What happened to this place? The king went mad, the academy conspired war, grand betrayal, something like that. How does Vivian know? Because I presume that even if I didn't talk to the ghosts, we'd still be having this conversation, right? Stop telling lies about the academy. What could you know? You're just an ignorant peasant.
Yeah, all right. I mean, you know, I was going to say Camden shouldn't be so naive, but then again, you look at people today and people are divided along political party lines. And they're like, my party is the greatest. My little sister did this. I don't know if I told you guys before. We were talking and I was basically like, uh, yeah, you're... Uh, political candidate was accused of uh, sexually assaulting someone and she's like so was yours it's like oh okay I guess that makes it okay then right like like I don't I also don't claim party allegiance right I vote for people but I'm not like I I don't label myself with a party I don't I don't believe in corporate loyalty or brand loyalty or any of that stuff but yeah so my little sister not uh like most people it seems she places tribalism above move my hand over here so you can see it she places tribalism above morality and that's the problem with things today most people the people that aren't on their side They'll be like, that's terrible. But if it if someone on their side does it, they'll be like, oh, it's. I mean, there was there's reasons, which is the reason everything is so screwed up. But Camden must be an Academy fan, I guess. Yes, just an ignorant peasant. What could I possibly know? You make me so mad. Well, okay. Well, we have enough to get the extra defense. Requires holy statue, which I don't believe we have yet. Well, let's, um... 6,000 mana, that's a lot. Probably more luck, though. Which is fine, I like luck, but... Let's get these two. Because they will help... And then we'll save. Oh, interesting. And they get placed in the order that you are... That you get them. That's fine. Whatever. Where to now? Just go left, basically. All right. Because we're going back to the witch. And we're almost time to stop. Almost at time to stop. But I think we have time to hit up the witch first. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, what about you? Legendary Wizard Magnus. Let's do this one. I don't... The whole recipe thing is weird, and what ingredients it actually uses is weird, but we'll, we'll do it. That way we can at least add it to our... Uh, to our stuff, right? Okay. And then, uh, critical damage increase. Do I have one of those already? Let's dispose of this and get the, uh, thing. And then we'll sell the soldier's hand and we'll s Do we want another one of these? Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Accessory. Oh, almost seems as if, as, as if this was plucked from the sky itself. Which would be better, gold amulet where it just reduces damage taken or increases defense? I don't know. I don't know how damage works. Is defense a straight up like percentage reduction? Accessory. 
second amulet. Alright. There you go, not bad work. Actually, what about you? I don't even know what we use the oars for. You know what I mean? Like, and he talks about crafting, but it's like, I I don't... Should I get ore? What do I need it for? What do I use it for? Oh, you jerk. Yep. Alright. Keep going left. To the witch. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's kind of funny, though. Like, that was the third boss. And then, after the third boss, we finally get some, uh... Some character development for Vivian. Well, alright. Oh, you jerk. Jade bracelet. Oh, I hear the calling of. There we go. Spinach. Random spinach from fungus. Angry man. Don't ever ask me to do something like this for you again. Now take them and do your job, or I'm going to kill you. Woman, please calm down, my love. Tall tree witch. He he he. Easy boy. Hand me that. Yes. Good. Good. This goes here and that one there. Oh, and I nearly forgot. He he he. And we're done. Tall tree witch. Here we have two flasks of cure. Give that to me. He he he. Go easy on me, boy. One should really respect their elders. He he he. Angry man. How do I use it? Tall tree witch. This flask is for you. If you drink it, the evil spirit inside of you will possess you completely, and you'll transform into a deadly beast. What? But the curse will be unable to harm your pretty little lover. When Mark, please don't even think of such things. My life is nothing without you. Markham. Anne Marie. And what about the other flask, witch? Tall tree witch. If the first flask is not to your liking, then you and your lover may each drink half of the second flask. Markham. And what trickery would happen then? Tall tree witch. Your lover's life force would pass through the potion, through the potion to slow down your curse. She may not live too much longer, but it would help with the curse. Markham, you treacherous hag! You've tricked us! You've damned us! I'll rip you to pieces! Anne-Marie, please, my love, don't! I have to do something before he murders the tall tree witch. Okay. Well... Vivian seems to... I mean, she needs the information from the Tall Tree Witch, but it's like... You know, the Tall Tree Witch had it coming, I suppose. She's probably screwed people regularly. Although I don't think she's... I think she's fully capable of defending herself. I think we would have seen Markham get, like, obliterated. Lay a finger on the witch and you won't get out of here alive. Rune Warden. How do you know she's a rune warden? Anyone with a sword? Rune warden, do you mean to threaten me? Mark, it's pointless to stay here any longer. Let's spend what little time we have left together in peace. Even if it's but one day, it will be the happiest day I could ask for. But the hag, she tricked us. I have to put an end to her lies. Hmm, what a waste it is to blame others for your own problems. Hee hee hee. My darling, this is our fate. Arg! You have what you came for. Leave. This is far from over, Hag, and you, Rune Warden, I won't forget you either. We're going to have to fight him eventually, I think. It seems that you saved my life, Rune Warden. Yeah, right. He's quite the brute. Surrender, Markham. You're to be punished for your deed, here and now. We don't fear your meek powers, and returning the ring will not ease your punishment. Now die. Hee <laughs> hee another lovely day, isn't it? Fighting sounds outside. Ar, damn. Who are those people? Ugh, we die together. How can I ask for more? 
And Murray, you are not without your sins. Markham will be executed here, but you will be brought back to the academy to wait trial with your treacherous father. If Markham couldn't defeat these academy dogs, I'll certainly have to avoid them. Why, are you not stronger than Markham? Who are they? Hounds sent from the academy, he he he. Markham, hey, I was saving this for later, but you academy pigs pushed me too far. I killed the Kuma Sith. I will redeem myself with my own flesh and blood. Anne-Marie, live for me. No, Mark, no. Manly sharp voice, what in the, uh, uh. Monster roaring. Kim, what the devil is that? Tall tree witch, he he he, it seems he chose the first flask. Vivian, he doesn't even sound human. Tall tree witch, and he doesn't deserve to. That shameless thief stole from a god. Anne Marie, live for me. My love, where where are you going? Please don't leave me. Roaring. The roar fades alongside heavy footsteps. I just read that. Are you hurt? Dear lady, please, I'm begging you. You're my only hope. Find my husband. Find my Markham. I Here, take this. It's my most cherished ring. It is said to banish evil. It's all I have. Please take it and find him for me. I can barely finish a quest before another one presents itself. I have to help her, Tall Tree Witch. Please wait for me. Hee hee hee, what a self-righteous rune warden. Do so, but be warned the boy's hatred and anger provides him with the great power of the Mother Bear. I'll keep that in mind, especially since those were not average battle mages. I feel like I've known this rune warden for years. No, they're all the same. Santiago and Vivian. No, I can see it in her eyes. Her eyes tell me everything. Santiago is probably her dad? But it's like, you know, I, I don't expect them to, oh yeah, here's the, the bodies. Oh, is one alive? His insides are mostly outside, but that's the fate an academy dog deserves. Dead, beyond dead. Come here, guy. Please help us. Come here, guy. What what the hell happened here? Where's the tall tree witch? Can't I go? Can't I talk to her now? Anyway though, you know, I'm not a I'm not asking for Let's save at that left one. Oh, here she is. Humph. Like, I'm not asking for, um... What is it, like the old... science dramas where the two scientists turn each other and... As we already know, this and this and this and that, right? And they explain the whole plot or whatever. That's not what I'm asking for. But what I am asking for is... Some exposition about, like, tell me about the world. What are rune wardens? Because everyone seems to know what a rune warden is, except for me. Like, it seems to be common knowledge. You know, and if 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 it's common knowledge, I should know. goblet and that's kind of the other thing it seems like money is just really not that important all right we'll save and then we'll stop gadfly camp where am i supposed to go to the waste sand no now we go up now we can go up and to the left to the right i mean all right well Oh, crap. That's fine. I used skills. It's whatever. Back to title. Yes. 
All right, guys. Well, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um, maybe eventually we'll figure out what a rune warden is. See the runes, blah, blah. Like, what are you talking about? You haven't established that you've gotten any sort of training. Unless rune warden just means swords person. You know, sword user. I don't I don't know. You didn't you didn't say your sister taught you. You said your sister taught you how to use a sword, not how to see the runes and what this curse is or any of that. So Anyway. The game is fun. It, it's it's fun, but it's it just like vanillaware games are good. You know, and it's not just the game. It's everything about them. It's the art. It's... I can't remember the music, but I'm sure the music is good. The stories... The stories are actually some of my favorite parts about Vanillaware games. Um, and so this, I'm like, the game is good and the art is good. Music's kind of okay. It seems out of place some of the time. And uh, the story is... Eh. But the game is fun, and I like the art. The art is the reason that I bought it. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? <sighs> hmm. Sorry. Um. Yeah. Just was thinking about that thing. I think I. I hope I said. The candidate, political candidates were accused of sexual assault. Um, I mean, it's... Some of them have... The accusations are... Seem to be corroborated. And for other candidates... Because there's more than two, you know? Other candidates uh, seem to not be corroborated. So, how it ended was... I didn't say that. I didn't like, oh, I guess that makes it okay. I was like, yeah, but the ones that, for the candidate that you're voting for, have been are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Uh, credible. They're credible. And the ones, you know, for the dude that I've voted for, or am planning to vote for, have been disproven. And she was like, uh, well, yeah, I, I know. Like, why'd you bring it up then, you dishonest poophead? <laughs> I didn't say that part, because it's like... But just... People need to switch. They need a standard of morality above everything. Like, It shouldn't matter, you know, who you vote for or what car you, you know, drive or if you prefer Nintendo or Sega or, you know, Xbox or... Sony or whatever should be standards man anyway what is your guys unique positive moment for today for me it's actually that chicken that I made uh, yesterday or the day before I think it was yesterday it is really good it's um it was just a little bit undercooked on the inside when I finished it and then I stuck it in the fridge and so when I pulled it out for today because I usually make food for a couple days uh, and I pulled it out and I cut it up and then I microwaved it and it was like juicy on the inside. It was, I mean, fully cooked, you know, after I microwaved it. Perfect. That's when I went it. That's why when I do steak, I do it a little bit more rare than I normally like. That way, when I have to reheat it later, it cooks it perfectly. So... That's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.